from chassis assembly to motor selection to electrical systems and wheel selection. So first I'll talk with you about the wheel-based design. We had four main designs that we looked at. The first was the omnidirectional wheel design. Omnidirectional wheels are really cool wheels that will allow the wheel to travel in any direction regardless of the direction of the wheel. However, they were expensive, they had vibration issues, and also was, they weren't terribly stable. We then looked at the triangular design, having two motorized wheels in the back and a passive or a caster wheel in the front. This was a reasonably good solution, but it would have stability problems and it wasn't terribly maneuverable. So the next third design that we looked at had a square base. Two motorized wheels in the back, two passive or active wheels in the front. Think of a motorized shopping cart, basically. This would be very stable, but it wouldn't be very maneuverable. So then we looked at the trapezoidal base, with two motorized wheels in the middle and a passive or caster wheel at each end. This gave us the best of both worlds. It was relatively stable and it was very maneuverable. After performing a concept scoring matrix where we weighted the stability, the maneuverability, and the ease of use for each design, we decided to go with the trapezoidal base. 